Welcome to this episode of YouTube, and we'd like to wish you a happy holidays, happy winter solstice, however you choose to celebrate here at the Wolf Center. We're just happy that we have snow. We had a warm spell that lost all of our snow, created muddy, really depressing conditions uh, for the staff, and then it froze, and then it was glare ice, and now we've got some snow back, so we actually have some traction, and uh, snow makes wolves happy, and this is Aiden who did a a plant a squash on Denali and snow again is one of those things that stimulate wolves to set roll to face wipe and uh, roll on their backs and that's what the older wolves do the younger wolves see it as an opportunity to take advantage of older wolves who are in a compromised position so we see bolts with a T2 tail and all the way uh, going up to a T1 a T2 is straight back a T1 is over the back, which is kind of an aggressive arousal tail. And certainly that's the most tail we've seen from Bolts in a long time. Luna, she's always been that way. Luna's always in his face, kind of uh, taking advantage of him, grab biting him, and that's what she is as the dominant female. But Bolts showing this kind of interest is certainly something concerning. Well, except that it's not concerning to Aiden. If you look at his tail, Aiden's tail is relaxed, it's wide open. Uh, he's not too concerned about it. He's actually socially still engaging, doing a four-leg stab and a grab to Luna. But it's not until Denali comes over and investigates that Aiden's tail goes tucked, and that means a little bit more fear response, or at least uncomfortable. And so he continues to want to play in the snow, but it's definitely a compromising position for him. So we'll see Luna continue to harass and... Uh, Denali comes in for a quick bite, which he doesn't get an opportunity for, and that stimulates Aiden to go for a run. And uh, a run around the enclosure with Denali and Bolts on hot pursuit. So it stops over by a deer hide where Aiden's going to try to guard it. Luna's going to do a little obnoxious submission to try to get possession of it. And then Aiden, he's pretty quick to put them in their place. He's going to drive her over, and actually she seeks refuge with the camera operator there um, and uh, continues to lead out an extra submission towards Aiden. The winter hormones do increase this time of the year, so this is nothing out of the ordinary. We're just kind of keeping an eye on the bolt situation. So it goes back and forth. There'll be times when it's Aiden. There'll be times when it's Bolts. There'll be times when it's Luna. and the, But most often it's Denali. And Denali, being a little more intimidated, is going to do a snap threat display with Hackles. Uh, with his tail tucked, and he's going to do a four-leg stab there of Luna. But notice how his tail is down low and it's almost tucked. Uh, Denali is used to getting the attention, and he's not comfortable with it, versus Aiden, who had his tail splayed out. He was he was comfortable with being the focus of the, of the attention. One thing I do notice is that Bolts doesn't often go after Denali when the rest of them do. Uh, he may chase them, he may kind of run with them, but... Bolts and Denali have a very strong bond, and that's probably something that's keeping Bolts from maybe doing a little bit more dominance over Denali. Here's Aiden. Finally had enough of Bolts' little test, and he's going to take it out on Bolts. He's going to, doesn't even really touch Luna, and she kind of screams, but he's going to face off the Bolts. And and clearly put an end to this attention. And you can see him with Bolts running up the hill and Aiden's quick to charge him and Bolts suddenly drops his tail and just kind of walks with Aiden. Then Aiden's going to systematically put the rank order back in his place, put Denali on his back, and make Denali willingly submits. Bolts is taking it a little bit one step farther with an ambush, but you'll see here that clearly Aiden has no concern about Bolts in his status at this time. Bolts is going to lay low. Aiden knows he's coming. Aiden doesn't even bother to acknowledge him. And uh, that kind of deflates the ambush. So if you're more intimidated and leery of it, the wolf that's ambushing gets more power. But when somebody walks right by you and you're of no concern, kind of deflates the ego of the one who's in the ambush. So all this kind of goes on, and then they take a break and eat some snow. And uh, the one other thing that we've been noticing is that Bolt seems to have some kind of a little issue with the Ravens. Now, whether they drop something on him or not really sure what, but that's going to help 
Aiden in that Bolts is a little intimidated by Ravens, and that's going to help Aiden a bit in making, uh, you know, keeping his dominance uh, and having Bolts, like I say, a little less than likely to test when Bolts is showing that kind of intimidated behavior. So that's what's going on in the exhibit pack. And over on the east side, Grizzer and his Grizzer 500, stimulated by the fresh snow, stimulated by the wolf care staff. He'd been sent rolling on the head of me, uh, the curator. Um, he has something about the shampoo that I use. He chooses to set roll on it. And then uh, got excited about it and uh, went for a Grizzer 500. And then kind of hops up on the den. And he's uh, I had Tina with that day, so he was listening to Tina and from this den he gets to see where Tina's in the wolf yard and he has several places that he can see her but there he's got a good view of her where she likes to do some scent marking and like I said the uh, snow is something that is starting to fall again we had lost most of it so it was a pretty dreary place for a while it was like March only it was December so we're happy to have the snow back and it's certainly a lot of stimulus for the wolves but also visually appealing for the cameras. So Grizzer is doing quite well. Uh, you know, many people are, are sad that Grizzer's alone, but Grizzer's personality trait, um, he seems to manage himself a little bit better. Uh, he definitely likes the social contact of staff, and certainly if there was a, a situation where an individual uh, could be with Grizzer, we would consider it, but at this point, um, it's just not in the dynamics of the pack. Uh, certainly bringing a pup in would not be advisable either a pup um, Grizzer is like 11 and uh, he's likely to have maybe four more years left um, that would leave a four year old pup with nobody to interact with so we certainly appreciate people's concern for Grizzer we have concerns for Grizzer as well and we do our best to make sure that he is first and foremost our priority uh, but at this point um, that's uh, his management is going to be up to us to make sure that we are the stimulus that Grizzer needs. And so with that, uh, we say goodbye and to see you next year.